Hey guys, welcome to Product Orders Point. Okay, so if you are a credit card user, then you might have made use of Credit App to make your credit card bill payment. And you can see over here there is a yellow button that is a 3D button being shown with a simmer effect on it. So if you if you are wondering how you can create the same button in your Flutter application, so in this tutorial we are going to learn about it. So let's get started. Okay, so to create a 3D button in our Flutter application, uh, similar to Credit App, we are going to make use of a library called as NeoPop. So first of all, just go to popspecification.yaml file and under dependencies section over here, just add this NeoPop uh, package and hit this pop get button to download this package as an external library for your Flutter project. Okay, and then you can just use it by importing it. Okay, so before understanding how to make use of it, let's go to the documentation. Okay, so you can see this is the documentation and it is being provided by CRED uh, team itself, company itself. So it is free to use. Okay, so here installation has been done. And here they have also provided different examples on how to make use of it. So they have also provided the source code. All you need to do is you just need to copy paste the code wherever required. And you can just uh, get it something like this. And you can just customize it as per your needs. You can just change the color as per uh, the company requirement or your app requirement. Okay, so in this video tutorial, we are going to create uh, uh, button neo neo pop button similar to this so you can see this is the 3d box over here so it has a thread uh, shadow effect and when it has been pressed it will look like this so you can see okay so let's uh, create this in our flutter application okay so here i have imported the package and you can make use of neo pop button okay so i in the scaffold widget i have a co empty container okay so here what i will do is uh, I have connected my mobile device. I will just run this app so that I can just show you the UI changes. Okay, so my app has been running on my physical device, which has been connected through USB, and you can see the screen over here. So I'm making use of Visor application to share my screen. Okay, so you can see I have an empty container over here, and here at the bottom, I want to create a button that is 3D button. So at the container widget, the child property. At the bottom, I want to create. So what I will do is I will make use of alignment widget. So child property alignment widget align align dot bottom center dot bottom center. Okay. And now here in this alignment property, I will make use of child widget. So child widget. And inside this child widget, I can make use of new pop button. So new pop tilt button. So this is the button I am going to make use of. Okay, so here there are various properties. So you can just keep the cursor over here and you can just read it out to customize your button. So here the main requirement is the child property of this uh, widget. So in this child property, you can just customize it by giving text widget or you can just give any padding widget, text widget or any widget to this button. Okay, so here child. Okay, so here I will give a simple uh, text widget and I will just name it as pin now. Okay, so let's refresh and check what happens. So you can see the button has been created. So I just need to customize it. So to her customization, uh, we can make use of decoration. So here in Neo, you can see there is a property called as decoration, decorate. So decorate. And here I, will, I have already created a decoration effect that is the yellow button. So you can just get the code. Okay, so now if I hot refresh, let's check if any changes affects okay so here uh, i have created a decoration but the decoration is not getting affected to this button that's because we must imp uh, assign some task that is button click or uh, something for this button to work okay so here uh, on tap down so when on tap down button is been when button is been pressed what should happen should be declared over here so you can just, just keep it empty so now if I hot refresh, you can see the button has been created over here. Okay, so now let's create and just uh, give a customization and just create this button a uh, uh, particular size. So what I can do is I will just give a padding to this uh, text widget. So padding widget I can make use of symmetric horizontal. Let me give as 70 and height I will just give it as uh, 15 vertical. 
Okay, so now let's check the change. So you can see. So now you can see the effect is been created. So next thing is I want to just give a padding for this screen, overall screen. So I just need some space at the bottom of the screen and from the top. So I can just uh, give a padding for this new button. So I'll just give a padding to this. Okay. So padding. Okay. So let give it as 20. Refresh. Okay. Okay, so now I want to change the background of this app. So over here in container, I can just use decoration property. Uh, I can use box decoration with image property with decoration image, image, asset image. Okay, and I have already added my image over here. You can see. So this is the image I want to show to my app. And I have just gave a permission to access this folder in pop specification.yaml file over here okay so you just need to enable this to access this folder okay and i just need to give the path of this image images dot background dot jpg okay so let me refresh okay so hot refresh will not work i think so yeah it is working okay so now you can see it is not getting fitted in the screen so to fit it, I will just make use of fit property with box fit dot cover. So you can see. Okay, so let me change the shadow of this button. So over here. Okay, so you can just change the color like this. Okay, so hot refresh, like check the shadow effect. Okay, so the shadow is being shown over here. And you can just customize it you can just make it light white color okay so that's all for this video tutorial the complete source code of this uh, web video tutorial will be on my website protocoldespoint.com you can just find the link in the description so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocoldespoint thank you